All right, so we need to implement the shopping cart controller and do the add to order action. I want to copy that so I can make sure I got the name right. So let's jump back to controllers, right click, add controller, and this will be called empty controller shopping cart controller. And the first thing that we want to create, I'm going to leave the index for later. Uh, we're going to do public action result add to order will be the name of the action. Um, it will be an HTTP post action and it's going to receive a list of product view model. So let's go ahead and add the using statement. And this will be products to add. Now, one thing I do know off the top of my head is that this product view model, we created a constructor that takes in one of our products, but we also need to have an empty constructor. And that's so that the model binder can create an instance of our product view model for when we do the post back. So I'm gonna add that constructor in there. And then let's just kind of scaffold out real fast the process we're going to go through. We're going to um, verify that products to add is not null. Very important. We're going to capture products to add. This is to filter by is selected. Um, if there are no products to add, there are no products to add. Uh, we will simply redirect to the shopping cart index. <clears throat> and that's, that way we're not wasting cycles of trying to do a bunch of work and then realize there's nothing to add. Um, and then we will get our user from user.identity.name. We will get the user from the database because we need their user ID. We'll create a shopping cart DTO. We will add the product product ID and user ID and quantity to the DTO. We will add the DTO to the DB context. We will save the DB context and then we will redirect to shopping cart index. So that'll be our process to get all of this up and running. So let's make sure that we've got the right pieces in place here. Um, well, let's first, let's go ahead and we'll just say uh, return redirect to action and we'll redirect to the index. So this will ultimately give us an error because we don't have the index implemented yet, but it's a good starting point. So let's go ahead and run this. And what I wanna make sure is that when I go to my products page and I check off those particular products that I'm actually getting to the shopping cart controller with the add to order action. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a breakpoint right here. And that way when I choose to post back, I'm hoping I'll hit this and I'll stop right there and then I can verify that I'm getting products in my list. So let's go ahead and go to products. And oh, that's not refreshed yet. There we go. So I'm going to check off Apple and Orange, and I'll hit Add Product. And then we made it to our controller action. If I mouse over Products to Add, there's one in here. Hmm. First item is there, and it is selected. But why did we only get back one? Is the question. So let's peek into our code real fast and see what's going on. Uh, each one of these says zero. Ah, <laughs> they all have the same indexer, which means that I forgot to fix my view in the last lecture. So if we go back, or last video, so if we go back to products, I'm still doing a for each loop here. I forgot to move this into a for loop. See, even the instructor makes mistakes. So we'll do the model of I here. And then I hard coded these to be zero, so you only get back one option. So those will be model of I, and then we will comment that out and replace it with four int I equals zero. I is less than model dot. Oh, I gotta put a at symbol in front of that. Model dot count I plus plus, and that should resolve any build issues. So that was just a view change. So if we come back here, refresh our view, 
I may no longer be running. Okay, there we go. So I can check apples and oranges. Um, I am no longer in debug mode, so to jump back into debug, I can press Control Alt P. That'll bring up my attach to process, and then the make sure that the show process for all users is checked. That just makes it easier, and then just simply jump in here and type IIS, and you should see IIS Express.exe show up. Click attach. So now we're reattached for debugging. We can now click add product. That'll bring us back to our breakpoint. If we mouse over, we now have four products, which is what we should see. Product zero is ID of one, it is selected. So it's the first item we checked. ID two is selected, it's the second item we checked. Three is false, so we did not check that one. And four is false, so we did not check that one. So we've got that data now coming back to us and we have what we need. So that piece is working successfully. Now the only other piece that I see that we need to make sure we have is we do not have a shopping cart DTO. We don't have a shopping cart table, so we need to get all of those pieces in place so that we can start doing that work. So that will be our next video.